Hello, welcome back to Brandish, the Dark Revenant. Uh, so last time we finally made it out of the uh, the first floor of the Dark Zone, and now we are working our way through the second floor, the last floor. Switch. Yes. Did not see that bat. Oh well. We are we are actually getting very close to the end of this game. It's still gonna be a while before I actually get to the end. What do we got here? Cash money. Ow. Pain. I don't know if this is one of the doorways that they... Okay. Well, I, it's not one of the doorways that they can't go through, because he went right into it. Okay, let's, let's just get into a corner and take a little nap. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, it's going to be a bit before I actually get to the... Uh, end of this game, but we are approaching it. We are getting close. And a pit. Oh, I was actually expecting a pit. Well, this makes this a safe spot to rest. Never mind. Bats. But but they are also bats, so it, it's safe. I think the uh, the teleporter I found in the middle of the pitfalls down there that takes you that skips a chunk of the floor, a good chunk of the floor actually. I think that's more meant to be you find it up there. No, no. Every time I, it's because I'm doing. I'm trying to. Uh, How do I how do I word that? I know there was a bat here. That happens because I'm trying to go trying to uh, do my usual stutter sleep. But then I get woken up and it ruins it. And then I just go right back to sleep and it kills me. So I, I guess just be more careful, which which is what I'm trying to do in the first place. By doing that. These do a fair bit of damage, and this actually is a fairly safe place to rest. I should have done that instead. Why can't... Oh, that, I was wondering why I could actually see that pit. That's because it's not the pit, the uh, teleporter. And that's because that's the one I found. Or that's the end point. Whatever. Or you throw the magic like I tell you to. There you go. The, the delay and the actions in this game is really bad. I'm very glad I didn't just start going to sleep there after I got out of that pit. One guy. Okay. Always tap the board in front of you with your foot when crossing an old bridge. If only, if only Ares would do that before taking his full weight on the, the panel in front of him. Ok, 
Okay. Okay then. Throw caution to the wind, and the wind will throw you in the abyss. Great! I think this is actually the direction I want to go, and not where the teleporter is at. I'm going to save. We are actually very close to, to being done with the dark zone. Did I miss something? No. Un unless there's a breakable wall back there. I also have not found the monolith, but I've also not gotten to the end of the floor yet. I... I didn't put drop the ball there, and that could have been bad. Thankfully, this should be the last of this nonsense. After this floor, we should start seeing the pit traps again. Okay, that... Okay. That revealed that. Or he revealed that. As I've said, enemies cannot walk where there's pits. Of course, don't get there. There was that other. Here was nothing. Okay. This would also have been to jump. Don't really have a whole lot to say doing this. It's just very meticulous. could just follow the map I have, but I have already seen that the map is not entirely accurate. It's not a map of this version, it's a map of the original game. Am I seriously going to go through two, st two full stacks of iron balls on this floor? Maybe not. There's not enough of the floor left, but close. There's the monolith. Looks like there would have been another jump here as well. I can't be one there in front of the stairs. Alright, mm, can't get the monolith le yet. Okay, so this opened from that switch in that hidden alcove. And the other... What? Get back here! Okay. 
can't use... Oh, because he was in the way. I was wondering why I couldn't use an iron ball. It's because he was here, there shouldn't be anything here. Really? Is that... That is not all of the map. I suppose there could still be some stuff in the bottom, but I don't think so. I don't know what this is. Oh! <laughs> really? So that's what this is. Sure. Welcome to Eighth Wonder. Please take your time and enjoy all that this casino has to offer. Sure. New location, second casino, now open. Decipher this code to enter. R1-2227 triangle. Okay. So this is, the, this is supposed to be a hint. I'm not sure what that means. I, I'm assuming that it means you press triangle. Is that Ruins 1? I don't know what the 22 to 27 would mean, though. A mirror for a mirror, a rod for a bolt. Sure. I've set up a round of Blade here, if you're interested. It's quite an exciting card game. And I'd certainly welcome a good challenge. Care to play me? No. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do the casino. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. I manage this casino's metal exchange and dispensary. The games here you see aren't played with gold, but with metal tokens. You'll need to buy these medals at first, but your goal is to win more through gaming. Save up enough and you can exchange them for prizes. Zero medals. A hundred medals for a thousand gold that's that's not a terrible exchange looking at the uh... no let's see what they got dragon's eye peer into it to see the location of every chest in the area me blue cape boosts heal rate when resting ineffective from the other world oh so this is just a a passive thing you have in your inventory, and it doesn't work when in a, a dimension box. Okay. Okay, these, these are some neat things, but no, I don't care. I can't sell, so it's not a proper shop. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. And looking at my map, I did actually miss something in the bottom left, which I can teleport right back to. If that is not 100%, then I, I don't know. I don't care at that point. Thought I checked that. Okay, I just saw something over there. So these enemies do respawn. Alternately, I could drop in the pit and just come back up and then use the teleport at the bottom. I think that honestly would be faster. This floor is thankfully mostly straightforward now. saw it, and still did it. Okay. I can 
didn't see it on my map where this is at. It doesn't actually lead me to any... Well, technically it leads me to the chest, but I already got the chest. Now, was that 100%? Yes. Okay, then. So, in the original, that casino is just a... It's like a shop. I don't remember how it works, because I don't think I ever really stuck around in it. But it's not a whole room that you go into like that. Come on, guy. I should actually get a base level from this, too. Up. Yep. Just following my mini map. Otherwise, I will just fall in with all the pits. Okay. So what do we got here? I, I swear if this is more iron balls. Okay, a life ring. Why are there so many in this game? Okay. Okay. If I ever come back here, this stuff is right here. That's a pretty big if, because I have no reason to come back here. Okay. I finally, finally through the dark zone. Somehow I'd managed to escape the darkness. But what had I found in this in its place? The walls pulsated ominously and the air was hot and dry. I felt as if I had trespassed into the womb of some unholy creature. I'd climbed so high the surface couldn't be much farther. But clearly the path ahead was not to be an easy one. What horrors yet await me in this living fortress? Okay! Welcome to the fortress! We, we, are, fi we are finally out of that. I don't know if these are pits or damage tiles. There are damage tiles in the fortress. They are damage tiles. Okay. I do have some stuff to sell. Let's talk. All by yourself, are you? Well, it's something of a miracle that you've made it this far. I came here with the elf next door, but the creatures in this fortress were too strong for us. You'd best be well prepared before proceeding any farther. One mistake and it's all over. Alright, I have a full, nearly full chest of stuff to sell. I'm going to just sell the iron balls. It's not a lot of money, but I I, abs I don't think I need them anymore. I'm going to hang on to the iron balls. Sell this great sword, actually. Thirty. And pretty soon we'll be moving on to flame swords. 
I don't know what I'm doing with my inventory. All right, let's see what you got to sell. Actually, do I have anything in here? To... No. Wow. Mm. I also dropped all that demonic stuff. For one, if I ever go back there, and I don't think I will. The only reason I would do that is if I had teleport magic and just wanted to uh, get the rest of the monoliths. But if, but you also cannot sell demonic stuff. Hmm, that's that's an expensive sword. Ooh, do I get the ancient shield? I think I get the ancient shield. What else am I gonna buy? I suppose the answer to that question could be next door. Let's get the Ancient Shield. I'm probably gonna find it on this floor. Alright, what do you have to say? I sincerely doubt there are many shops to be found on the floors beyond this. It would be wise to stock up now on any items you think you may need for the coming travails. I give you this warning not as a businessman, but as a fellow adventurer whose quest has ended. Know that I will be praying for your luck and safety as you continue along your way. Okay. I think he has every magic. Quake and Time Stop are new to this. Holy, those are expensive. Not, not, I mean, the, the actual gold cost... But the magic point cost a hundred magic points to cast Quake. Wow. I'm 90% sure you just pick up Barrier. You may have to buy Barrier and you pick up Double. I'm fairly certain you pick up Warp Magic. I know you... I say I know, but you... I'm also fairly certain you pick up Heal Magic. Heal Magic really helps on the damage tiles. Like, it doesn't completely negate them, but you don't have to do spot healing, and you don't have to worry too much about that. You just have Heal Magic going, and you just walk right through them. I'm tempted to just buy it. It's not... It's not expensive. I want to buy it. In the very next chest will be heal magic. All right. So this is how heal works. Yeah, and it, it keeps up with that damage, basically. Oh, now we got the headless. Ow. It's not going to keep up with their damage. <laughs> really? Hmm. How do I deal with him? No. Tank damage, I guess. He will just knock you away. So I can't, double, I can't get healing back up. Okay. Okay, not a little annoying, but not too bad. Wait a minute. Okay, this is. Very visually obvious. This is a fake wall. I can see that bread. I don't want that bread. Bar. I wonder if the 
unbreakable walls are similarly obvious. I'm concerned this also has the, uh, where I need to put the gold. Already found the obelisk. isn't suspicious at all. Oh, actual po- An actual potion. Oh, I can use it from the dimension box. Okay, neat. This is unsettling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that does pretty good work. I think these chests are empty. Locked. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> okay. The chests are just so that you can't get right in their face. Locked. Empty. Gold bar. That's a pretty good chunk of gold. I think these things are even more... That was actual potions. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I think these things are even more dangerous up close, so I'm just gonna... Fireball them. And use a potion. You know what? Let's find out. Kinda, because they can hit me through the shield. Okay! We got some, uh... Skeleton keys for the chest. And the door, apparently. Hmm... Concern. I keep pressing that button whenever I want to open the map. Actually, what am I doing? That one's open. Area range. And a great sword. Right. There was another path to check, so I'm going to do that before I take that teleport. Fantastic! Ow! Okay, we, we got these guys as an enemy now. I don't think they're anywhere near as strong. No, they are definitely not. Yeah, they, they're not nearly as bad. Why is it just standing there? Oh, 
Also, he's, if he's not gonna move... <laughs> Defending him was also keeping me from sidestepping. That's... upsetting, a little bit. Standing at the door. Also, I can actually equip a better sword to him, I think. Ow. Like, heal magic is nice, but it's, it's not gonna keep up with enemy damage. This keeps me from having to spot heal all the time. Okay, the big chunk over there on the map that's not mapping out is concerning me a little bit. I have not yet seen breakable walls. Okay. Oh, need a map. Need to add that to the map. A key somewhere. Oh, I didn't even see this. Concern. Oh, flim sword. And here I am, still using the great swords. Hmm. With that in mind. So I gotta go back there anyways. I'm gonna sell the great swords. Could be a mistake. Actually, I'll use the fifty. I sell the rest. Oh, I'm over time. I need to pay pay attention to my uh, time or more. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this stuff, then make my way to the teleporter, not step into it, and we will pick up there next time. I sell all stuff. I could have just stacked all this stuff. I don't think I need it. I know the part that needs it will have a... Uh... Eh, buy, buy Iron Balls. I know the part that needs it will have uh, a shop that sells it. I, I have so much money now, do I buy? I think I'm going to just buy Barrier Magic. The 128 magic points on this, is, it's literally takes you an, an entire full bar, so that's not a like actual cost that you have to work your way up to cast. If you have 10 magic points, it costs 10 magic points. Yeah, I'm going to buy Barrier Magic and sell my ring. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to make my way over there. It's not too far of a trek. And I don't think any of those enemies will have respawned either. A little bit upset... Nope, that's the wrong way. A little bit upset that the shop did not have better armor, but... Eh, I got, I got a better shield. That's, that's fine. Yeah, they did not respond. Alright. So next time we will find out where this goes. Whatever. Yeah. 
Next time we'll find out where this teleporter goes, and we'll make our way through the fortress. Uh, I know we're in the last part of the game, but this is still going to take a number of a number of parts still. So yeah, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more, and thanks for watching. <laughs>